giant fireball erupts in St. Petersburg with huge flames spotted after blast. Here's a summary of the article. A giant fireball has erupted in St. Petersburg with huge flames spotted following a blast in the Russian city. Large flames and thick plumes of acrid smoke were seen rising into the air over the city on Saturday, November 19. As reported by The Mirror, local sources told of the deafening blast on Twitter as they asked whether the flames were caused by a regular fire or another type of explosion. The incident appears to have happened in a forest area in Sevilorsk, a residential area around 24 kilometers east of St. Petersburg. The local governor said the fire was under control and there is no threat to local. It comes just hours after a gas leak in a residential building caused an explosion killing at least nine people, including four children, on the Russian island of Sakhalin. The blast happened on the Russian territory island of Sakhalin, which is in the Pacific Ocean, just north of Japan after a gas cylinder erupted in one of the apartments at around 5.30 a.m. local time this morning. This post received a score of 12,000, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. TL, DR, the incident appears to have happened in a forest area in Sevalosk, a residential area around 24 kilometers, 15 miles, east of St. Petersburg. The explosion, according to state media, was caused by an erupting gas pipeline that runs through the Leningrad region. I thought it might have been another Russian oligarch committing suicide. He unfortunately self-combusted in the middle of the woods. If a Russian oligarch explodes in the woods, does he make a sound? Nah, just a post on Reddit. If a tree falls in a gif, does it make a sound? No. But somebody will still ask, why no sound? Greater than the incident appears to have happened in a forest area in Vsevolosk, a residential area around 24 kilometers 15 miles east of St. Petersburg. The explosion, according to state media, was caused by an erupting gas pipeline that runs through the Leningrad region. So, we have absolutely no idea what caused it. I mean, Russia having weak infrastructure because the last time anything was spent on it was during the Soviet Union is pretty damn believable too. Well, yeah money was spent on infrastructure but the wild corruption means that it probably just lined the pocket of some minister. Greater than it comes just hours after a gas leak in a residential building caused an explosion killing at least nine people, including four children, on the Russian island of Sakhalin. Literally on the other end of the continent. Must have been a big explosion, s. Took several hours for the blast to sweep across Siberia. Can't wait for Putin to blame this on the decadent West. I can vouch. I was the pipeline. I am pretty gassy myself, so I can relate. PG and E to blame maybe. Potato gas and electric. Probably blame it on smoking again. All these smoking accidents you would think they would ban cigarettes. Cigarettes and window. Fucking squirrels and their addictions. The real cause. Go to 046 it's Rick and Morty FYI. It could be an accident. It could be intentional. It's Russian. Being on fire could be correct operating conditions. Maybe it's Maybelline. You know, even giving Russia the benefit of the doubt that this wasn't a missile or sabotage, what is actually going on in Russia? Buildings blowing up randomly is not a feature of a stable society. I suspect this happened all the time but wasn't all that interesting before. That is my thought as well. They just have more eyes on them now than any time in the last 50 years or so. Fetter Feuerball Younger Oh look, another piece of broken, UN-maintained Soviet infrastructure that is the West's fault somehow. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.